Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the directional light in Unreal Engine. But before going into that, I just came up with uh, some small demonstration here. And also it will just uh, cover up all the important lights of uh, the Unreal Engine. So we have a point light uh, which, uh, which generally emits light from a particular point in all directions. Okay. And uh, the spotlight is the next light which emits a light in one single direction. But as you could see, it has got an angle uh, from the point as it keeps increasing the angle forming it to a cone shaped light that's why we had an option called cone angle there okay then we have an area light it's a light where the light comes from a bigger area okay point light is suitable for anything like bulbs okay uh, spotlights are used for torch lights okay and uh, area lights are used for tvs or windows etc okay now the point is uh, the directional light. Directional light does not fall into any of the artificial light sources. Uh, point li uh, directional light is very unique. So as you see, the source of the light is point, point, and the big area. Okay, but our directional light is basically it's a daylight actually. It's a sunlight specifically. The light uh, generally comes parallel through the total scene. There is no starting point. You might be asking, okay, sun is a point and the sunlight is almost like a point light. But the point is uh, sunlight and the earth and your location is way small. And uh, that's the reason we get all the pa parallel light to that particular area, that particular landscape. So even though uh, sunlight is like a point light, but for us in terms of scale, sunlight is not at all a point light. It's a directional light. So what happens with this particular light is when you keep an object it has got a shadow here okay and uh, throughout the landscape the angle of the shadow stay stays uh, same there is no change in the angle now however if i take a, a point light okay and if i put an object in a landscape the shadow will be based on the angle so the shadow keeps changing so this is very important to understand about the behavior of the sunlight and that sunlight is simulated by our uh, directional light here. So right now I'm in the Unreal Engine, I can go to this light shapes and then we got directional light. So let me move this light. Let me scale this light. There's no difference. And but when I rotate this, the light keeps changing the angle. Okay. And you should be able to see the plane is uniformly lit uh, throughout the plane. Okay. So you are trying to simulate the evening, the more afternoon and so on. So when you are just simulating the evening, you can switch on the color temperature and reduce the color temperature. It gives you a beautiful evening or um, early morning. Uh, when you rotate this uh, above the sky, you can put the color temperature of 6500, which is the proper daylight temperature. And here we have lux or luminous flux. We don't have this unit in our other lights. Uh, candela and lumen was there so let me just check in the advanced section uh, we don't have uh, the control to um, change the unit in the advanced section let me just check it with the point light okay okay a point light has got candelas unitless and lumens okay and if i go to the um, advanced section okay uh, sorry here we are in the advanced section only if I expand this, you got these options there, right? But uh, when I select the directional light under the light advanced section, we don't have that attribute at all. So the thing you can generally control about directional light is the orientation. Okay. And uh, we have uh, some uh, unique attributes in terms of um, directional light. There is something called soft angle. Now what happens, you know, the overcast sky will have a bit of diffused light. So our light will be angular i mean it's like this angle it's like this angle it's like this angle it's like this angle the problem is i'm painting over and over it happens for me most of the times i should be able to see this is the angle what we are getting so if i just take a smaller angle then the angle will be less if i take a wider angle the angle would be more uh, that's uh, the angle option which we have in the directional light which is the source angle so you should be able to see that ends up giving me that soft shadows in the source angle let me try a value higher than uh, 10 so it's not really affecting but uh, range between uh, 0 to 5 is softening the shadow 
which is really good uh, source soft angle is another attribute which is given for the same control okay so we have the color temperature we have intensity of the light in luminous flux or lux attribute then we have uh, indirect uh, lighting contribution you want the indirect lighting or not you can choose that uh, we have uh, some options related to the depth map shadows uh, we can switch on the specular highlights uh, you could see that highlights on the model so you can switch off them and also we have uh, material related attributes like translucent translucent shadows uh, transparency if you got a window and then the light to be passed through the window which has got transparency then there you can enable this you can uh, go for the dynamic cast shadow and static cast shadows on and off and then we have uh, some options related to like light shaft occlusions and this is like uh, custom effects which we use once you use them we can take control over them um, apart from that okay this has got uh, one more control that is distance field shadow uh, distance like uh, directional light is an infinite light so it is going to calculate in a limited region and that region is given here so you can generally use this value for optimization again it doesn't really show any effect in the result but it you are restricting the shadow calculation for that limited area so there are a lot of uh, volumetric effects and there are options which work uh, with that we'll check them also like cast shadows on clouds uh, cast shadows on the atmospheric atmospheric effects and so on so uh, we have the uh, again the light material which generally adds up the color to that so you have uh, all that options i have explained few of the options in detail in my previous videos where i made a point light spotlight so i've explained in detail you can check that video also um this is uh, to conclude this is a light used to simulate sunlight in simple okay